Okay, this is a vertical height measuring device, uh, training device, measuring device. Uh, do it yourself. You can do it for $40 or $50, depending on what stuff you got already. Um, I'll show you how to do it. Um, I made this for my two daughters. This is my younger daughter. She's going to sh demonstrate. Go ahead, Ray. She got two of those things. This is meant uh, for her and her older sister. Um, all right, so she's gonna video. I'll show you how I made it. So first, uh, parts that you're gonna need. You're gonna need um, PVC. I bought, th this is one and a half inch PVC. I bought three 10 foot sections of it at the Home Depot, about $7 each. Uh, you're gonna need some PVC accessories, end caps, three of these little end caps, three of these little elbows, and two of these three-way connectors. And this is a metal rod. It's a, a two foot long threaded metal rod, five eighths inch diameter. And two little wing nuts for the ends, five eighths inch. And then you're gonna need some nuts between here, uh, five eighths inch nuts. I think I got like 48 nuts at the Home Depot. These are just little uh, slats, little shims, wooden shims. I happen to have them lying around, so I use them. Uh, if you don't, you can buy at Home Depot, they sell them, as, you can buy cedar uh, shingles and just cut them up like, like this, so they're kind of wedged to shape. Um, you need some glue, uh, where they sell the PVC, they also sell the uh, PVC glue cement. And I think, oh, and uh, down here, I used, I had a couple of these little tiny eye hooks, um, so I used them as well to add some stability. Um, I think that's about it. Right, so the first thing to assemble, you assemble your base first. Uh, these, um, oh, I guess the first thing is you cut up your PVC, right? Three feet sections, three feet, three feet, three feet, three feet. So four three foot sections of PVC. Up here, this is about 19 and a half inches. This section right here has to be just the right length so that your 24 inch metal rod sticks out of each end just, just barely. Uh, this is one foot and one foot. So one foot, one foot, 19 and a half. Three, 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 three. This one is depending on how, how tall you want it. Basically, however high you want this bottom uh, wedge, uh, subtract six inches and cut this to that length, right? Um, first step, assemble the base. You take these two and glue on your end caps. Put the glue on both the PVC and the cap. Um, stick it in there, let it dry for about uh, a minute or two. Do the same for both. Then I filled these up with sand. I just happen to have some sand uh, lying around. Fill them up with sand to weigh this thing down and, and give it stability. Uh, next, you put on this elbow on both of those. Glue it on. Wait a minute or two. Then you put on uh, this other three-foot section on each one of these. Um, uh, let it dry for a minute. And then you fill the, these up with sand. These two, right? Um, now, this part is tricky. When you add this three-way connector, you want to do that with two people. One person is going to stick this vertical piece into uh, the three-way connector and hold it up high like this and vertical with a level. If you have a level, you can uh, make sure it's, it's directly up. And then the other person is going to glue these two sides, stick them in there um, nice and snug and, and, and hold it and let it dry. Okay? Uh, then you can take this thing out. You don't have to glue it yet. Take, take the vertical thing out. You're going to assemble the upper piece. The way to assemble the upper piece, start with the, these two one-foot sections glue the end cap on each one of them, and then drill a hole uh, about one inch from the end cap on both, both these sides. Um, put your rod into the holes with, a, with um, the wing nuts on each side. Um, and then uh, assemble this part, your 19 and a half inch section, put one end into your three-way, one end into the elbow, glue them. Um, and then glue your bottom thing in here but leave the top one unglued. You can just attach it in there and make sure that everything looks right, that, that the rod sticking out of both ends, everything looks right, okay? Um, don't, glue, don't glue the top end yet. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, now, the next thing you wanna do is, uh, is do all these uh, wedges. Um, the way you do that, first you wanna mark the rod down at the bottom right here where it sticks out. Uh, you know, it's a piece of tape or a marker or something so you know where to put the bottom nut. And then you can take the whole rod out, um, put the bottom two nuts uh, right where you have your mark, slide in one of your um, wedges. And by the way, you have to cut a five inch, five inch, inch hole in each one of your uh, your your shims here. Um, slide into the shim, 
put two more nuts on top of it, tighten it so that it's kind of hard to turn. It, it shouldn't turn like it just, shouldn't just wobble. It should be a little bit of resistance to turn it. Repeat that, get all your wedges in there, get your two nuts on top, make sure they're all kind of tight. Um, and then um, you can put this back in the bottom, put the wing nut in, um, pop out your top connector up here because you haven't glued it yet, right? Um, and put in the top of, of your rod, tighten it up a little bit on top, and then you can glue the top portion up there, right? And that's all while this is down before it's up there, right? So now you have that whole top part assembled, uh, and you can just do the final pieces, which is glue in your vertical uh, down here, glue in your vertical here, um, and put in your two eye hooks. Um, I had a tiny little drill bit, a 1 8 inch, 1 16 inch drill bit to make a little tiny guide hole in there and put in the two eye holes. This just keeps the thing from, from leaning forward here. Um, so that's about it. Uh, put any questions you have in the comments. Hit like. Good luck.